Welcome back to the sixth episode of the Dubai After Dark podcast with your hosts, me, Graham, and Ty. Today we're going to get into a bunch of different segments. We'll break them down video by video and uh, let's get right into it. So first category for us today is going to be sports. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay. Rank these five retired hockey players without knowing who comes next. Okay. Joe Sackick. Three. Peter Forsberg. Ooh. I think he's got to go four, unfortunately. Okay. Dominic Hasek. Ooh. Arguably the best goalie of all time. Mm-hmm. That's a good question. Um, I'm going to throw him at five. Take a big <laughs> risk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Steve Eiserman. Oh, man. Okay. Two. Give me a good one. Ty Domi. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, if I could shift all four of those one up and put Dino- Ty Domi last, I'd be happy. Why? The guy's a boxer, man. He's sweet. Yeah, you said good hockey players, didn't you? We're <laughs> tired. <laughs> well, just ranked. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I'd have him last. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right. My turn? Yeah, go for it. Cool. All right, so this is a new segment I just made up. Okay, interesting. Guess, you got to guess which NFL team this is. Okay. I'll keep giving easier hints until you get it right. Sounds good. First hint. This team was founded in ni- This team was founded in 1965. That doesn't help me at all. Got to make a guess after each one. New England Patriots. Wrong. <laughs> this team has never won a Super Bowl. Oh. Not the Minnesota Vikings. Incorrect. Damn. They're in the NFC. Okay. Um, Cardinals. Incorrect. They have a bird logo. I'm blanking. All right, next hint. Yeah. Todd Gurley has played for this team. Wow. I thought he only played for, like, the Rams and whoever else he went to. He Uh, played for the Rams most of his career. Yeah. You're going to have to give me something. Okay. Well, they're getting easier as we go. Yeah. Um, They blew the biggest lead in Super Bowl history. Oh, the Falcons. Yeah. (laughs) There There we go. All right. Rank these five NFL wide receivers without knowing who comes next. Okay. Justin Jefferson. Two. Odell Beckham Jr. Let's go four. Okay. Jamar Chase. We'll go three. Mike Evans. Ooh. Man, it's disrespectful <laughs> to put him at five, but I'll put him at five. Okay. You think I'm going to give you a good one? No, or you're going to give me another trash one. No. Devontae Adams. Okay, sick. Number yeah. one. Yeah. That's a good list. That's a really good list. I like that list. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to get your opinion on salary caps in sports. Okay. I know most leagues these days are trending towards salary caps, but sports such as the MLB, baseball, soccer, most leagues, I think even the MLS. No, maybe not the MLS, but most of them have no salary cap, so they're able to just buy the best players. Yeah. And so those are the types of sports where, you know, in Germany, Bayern Munich has won the league, like something like eight of the last 10 years. (laughs) So I just wanted your opinion on, do you think salary caps are good for sports or do you think they could do like a modified version kind of like they do in the NBA where there's like a luxury tax if you go over the cap? What's kind of your opinion on salary caps? I think salary caps are absolutely necessary and I think having them modified in any way like they do in the NBA is honestly irrelevant because if you look at like, let's talk like formula one same deal for the longest time teams could spend any amount of money they want developing cars this or that so it's just whatever team had the biggest budget could make the best car and it was just a landslide every year so they implemented a penalty for every time you spent over the budget then you get fined x amount but when they have so much money and when they win earn so much money from winning It doesn't even matter. Yeah, they don't care. It's just worth them breaking the rules and taking the fine anyways. At least the other, I think, in the the way they do it in the NBA where they they distribute that money towards the the poorer teams or the teams that aren't spending over the cap. So it helps them a bit. Yeah. And it's more fair than just no salary cap. Right. But it's tough. Like, I think that modified salary cap is, like I said, better than no salary cap. On the other hand, though, it it is kind of – too bad for like a team like the new york and yankees if you were to put in a salary cap they're going to go from consistently being good to then fighting mediocrity you yeah know? exactly and so on the one hand 
it's better for the league because there's more parity among the league. Mm -hmm. But, you know, storied franchises with a bunch of fans and a bunch of money, should they be rewarded for having such good fans? You know, that's part of the question too. Because, you know, NHL, quite a random sport. Like, year to year, it's hard to pick who's going to win. Yes, there's teams that are better than others, but the way the draft works and the salary cap works – it really rotates fast. Like yeah. which teams go for five to 10 years as a good team. And then five to 10 years as a bad team. So I like that. Personally. You like that? I definitely love, love it kind of rotating and just the variety of it. Then it just makes it more interesting. Like, yeah. Um, you know, if, if you just know the Yankees are going to do well every single year, then it's just, I don't know. It, it takes a, a level of excitement out of it. I would in my agree. Opinion. I would agree. And I, I think that, for the league and for the fans, it's better to have a salary cap. Mm-hmm. I just think it kind of is too bad. Like, what if you're, you know, you think about it from a business sense, the Yankees are being, like, held back from doing their best in a salary cap. Right. Because they're just not able to capitalize on being the best franchise for yeah. the last hundred years. That, that would be like putting, like, a salary cap on Apple mm-hmm. and being like, oh, well, if you make over this much money, then you got to distribute it to the other companies, you yeah. know? so. There, I, I I agree that a salary cap is best for the league, mm-hmm. and it parity creates better competition. And so overall, yes, I think it is better. But obviously, there's a argument to be made for both sides. Yeah, just going back to the Formula One ref- reference, you watch a race. There's ten teams, twenty drivers. Okay, the top six are the top three same teams, like every race just in a different order so it it just gets boring you know yeah totally and i was gonna say one more fact on the soccer or european football side of things is you know in north american sports you're you're in the league you can't drop in european soccer if you do poorly you drop into the lower league and vice versa right so in that sense it is more of like a business where if you're in the second league and you invest in your team, mm-hmm. then you can win that league and go up to the next league. I see. And so you can kind of work your way through the different leagues. Mm-hmm. And so it is more of like a fair business because in sports like, you know, NBA, NHL, NFL, if you place horribly, you just get the first overall pick. And then that's how you like rebuild your team. Mm-hmm. But there's no such thing in soccer, right? You're just trying to sign the best players. Yeah. And so this not having a salary cap actually works better in my opinion, in a league where there's different levels and different like leagues that you can move in between. Right. Because then you properly get rewarded and punished for doing well financially as well as on the field. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Because like, you look at the NHL, there's teams that have been horrible for forever and they always get these good picks and then sometimes they turn that around into like a very good team. But if it's certain teams that are run very poorly then they somehow find a way to lose their players or not not retain them i mean like columbus always loses their best players yeah. you know yeah or just like teams that don't find a way to make do with the good players like i mean totally edmonton how have they not just been dominating for like the past few years yeah exactly you know? yeah they're they're out again as yeah. of last night yeah exactly what college did these nfl quarterbacks start their college careers at oh, so man. i'm gonna give you I'm going to give you a name yeah, and then I'll give you two options and you just got to decide. Okay. That makes it easier. Cause I'm not a, I'm yeah. not a college football guy. Aaron Rodgers. at Okay. I'm not sure if this is Butte or butt college. I'm assuming it's Butte okay. um, or Berkeley university of California. Yeah. California wrong. What? Yeah. So what is the acronym or is it just a, Berkeley? A Berkeley. I may have to double check on that. I'm pretty sure he actually started at Berkeley and then transferred. Yeah. To, okay. Cause yeah. he went, now that I think about it, I know that. the college he went to, I can't think of it right now. I think it was one of those colleges in, in California. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Um, next one, we got Tom Brady, university of Michigan or Yale, Michigan. I know that one. Yes. Yeah. Um, Joe Burrow, LSU or Ohio state. LSU. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Josh Allen, North Carolina State, or University of Wyoming? There's been two Josh Allens, hasn't there? Well, I'm talking about the (laughs) Buffalo Bills one. Wait, sorry, what were the options again? Uh, North Carolina State or University of Wyoming? Ooh. I actually don't know. I'm going to say Wyoming. Correct. Okay. Yeah. 
And last one, Patrick Mahomes, Texas Tech. Or Texas Vir- Tech. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to throw Virginia Tech in there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, try to switch it up. Yeah. No, I knew most of those. I guess you see them win, like, national championships and stuff like that. Yeah. But I didn't – we're going to have to check on that Aaron Rodgers one. Uh, yeah, I, I will double check Because I think he that. might have transferred at some point. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, I'm going to give you a which team has won more recently in NHL, NFL, and NBA. Okay. Which team has run one more recently in the NHL? Pittsburgh Penguins or Chicago Blackhawks? Pittsburgh. Correct. Do you remember what year that was? I mean, I wouldn't, but... 2012. 2017. Ah. And Chicago was 2015. Okay. Yeah. NFL. Green Bay Packers or New York Giants? Giants. Wow. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. 2012. Mm-hmm. Packers run one in 2011. Mm-hmm. I thought you'd say Green Bay for sure. Nope. No. Nope. Um, NBA, Miami Heat or the Cleveland Cavaliers? Cavs. Correct. 2016, Heat were 2013. Good guessing. Thank you. They're not guesses. They're facts that I know. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> um, guess the top three positions in the, NF- in the NFL that are most likely to receive concussions. Damn. Most likely to receive concussions. I'm going to say running back? No. Really? Mm-hmm. Damn. Is this, I mean, is this like a total or a percentage? Uh, percentage. Okay. I'm surprised it's not running backs then. I'll say tight ends? No. No? Okay, it's got to be wide receivers then. They are the second most, yep. Okay, quarterbacks? Nope. What? <laughs> what is it then? Offensive lineman? Cornerback is number one. Okay. Wide receiver is number two, and linebackers is number three. How, man? I didn't know defenders were getting them more often than... Yeah. I mean, to me, cornerback kind of makes sense because just, like, lots of, like, high-speed collisions with... Yeah, but they're usually pa- backpedaling. I thought that the the wide receivers would be the ones getting hunted more than the cornerbacks. Yeah. I, I, was, I was taken back by that. I guess cornerbacks are pretty small, mm-hmm. so maybe that has something to do with sure. it. Very true. All right. Thoughts on... You know, we're in the middle of playoff season for both the NBA and the NHL. Yeah. Uh, any thoughts, any any picks on the winners for you? I mean, uh, in NHL, we still got one game seven mm-hmm. left in round two, but uh, after that, so we got five teams left in the NHL, and then NBA is obviously on to the conference finals. All I have to say is I want Seattle to win. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I really do. One, just kind of local, and I just think it would be awesome for such a new team to uh kind of stand out and you get mean it done. you want them to win the cup yeah yeah definitely yeah I, for me as long as it's not the vegas knights why i don't know that? i don't know why i just don't like the Knights. really yeah they don't deserve the success so early like you're a new franchise like tone, tone it down <laughs> so what i just said about seattle yeah but seattle's an underdog <laughs> 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 seattle's sick you sound like a woman right now Got no but they're the like standards. they're like an hour from our home too yeah so it is a bit of a home dog thing but yeah, yeah no good point i got caught <laughs> on that one but like vegas didn't deserve didn't they like make the cup finals or the conference finals first in their year. first year yeah that was yeah. insane they don't deserve that that much early success. they're uh you gotta struggle for a bit true they're uh the like opening ceremonies to their games look insane i'd love to go check that out one day i know their arena is also super sick yeah like i think it's you can be at ground level outside and there's glass that you can see down into the arena no way So like you're at street level yeah and you're looking down all the way down the stands to the ice it's a pretty cool crazy yeah if you can find that picture throw it up on the screen yeah let's do it yeah and what about nba what's going on there nba um obviously four teams left uh I'm really like I love seeing an underdog. So mm-hmm. once again, Miami Heat, eighth seed that have made it all the way to the final or the conference finals. So mm-hmm. would definitely like to see them make the finals. Um, yeah. They're probably the number one team I'm rooting for here. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, pretty basic with it. I just want the Lakers to win, man. You want them to win? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I was gonna say that next. I want the Lakers to lose. And why is that? Just same thing because they're not the underdog. Or? Well, like LeBron, man, like coasted all season and then of course come playoff time they dominate which yeah. is fine i mean lebron's amazing credit to him like yeah. he's played really well and mm-hmm. and uh i thought you know if you watch the season you would have thought that lakers were dead in the water but i mean if i had to choose a team it would be denver to okay. win i yeah. mean they're just so dominant but mm-hmm. you never know when you're playing lebron and who else is in it right now is boston in it yeah okay so we got Boston, LA. I don't cheer ever for a Boston team. I want every Boston <laughs> team in every sport to lose. Okay. That's just a 
lifelong hatred. Yeah, I just don't like Boston at all. Fair enough. They think like they they've had the most wins out of like any city mm-hmm. in any sport, at least recently. Mm-hmm. And I got a friend who loves Boston, so I just hate him. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. That's all. That's all it takes. Um, what are the original six NHL hockey teams? Oh, geez, this should be so easy. Red Wings. Yep. Toronto. Yep. Montreal. Yep. Oh, this is where it gets a bit dice here. I believe Chicago. Correct. That's four. There's two more, right? Yes. Uh, I want to say Philly. Nope. No? Nope. Oh, damn. Okay. Revert that guess. Because <laughs> I didn't actually guess it. I just said I want to <laughs> say. Um, You were just talking very Yeah, I was going to say Boston. Yes. Yeah. And New York. Rangers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. Good and job. then I would say the next few teams were kind of like Philly, Pittsburgh. Maybe not Pittsburgh. Man, I, for I a personally hockey, have no clue. For a hockey fan, I should know this more, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stumbled to, through that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was good work. And that's all I got for the sports segment. That's all I got for it, too. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, we post from now on, we're going to be posting daily different segments. So Absolutely. Uh, this was sports. Hope you'd enjoy. And uh, check the channel for other categories. Absolutely. Comment if you want to see anything else or anything different from us. So let us know. Yeah. Take care, guys. Cheers.